test, 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 test. We have got to do more testing. Governor J.B. Pritzker today emphasizing the need today to target testing. At first, Illinois labs handled just 50 tests a day. Now it's up to around 2,000. And two weeks from now, the governor hopes it will reach more than 4,000 a day. But all that increased testing comes with a catch. Some testing sites told CBS2 investigator Dorothy Tucker right now they're running low on one critical item. On a typical day, nurses at the North Shore Hospital test nearly 600 people for COVID-19. It's a simple test with one critical tool, a swab. Not just a Q-tip, but a specialized swab, long and skinny enough to reach the upper part of the throat, behind the nose. Every patient needs a swab, so this news is not good. The swabs are nationally in very short supply. North Shore is one of 26 testing sites and labs in the state. We're right now all on pins and needles about, about getting our materials. It's a concern former FDA Commissioner Scott Gottlieb tweeted out a few days ago saying swabs could be a weak link in broadening testing. Today, a spokesman for Premier, a company which purchases supplies and delivers them to more than 4,000 U.S. hospitals and 175,000 health systems, such as nursing homes, doctor's office, and clinics, summed up the problem in these words. The lack of swabs is slowing down testing dramatically. Really keeping on our, our suppliers to try to make sure that we can keep going. There are two main companies that manufacture the swabs, Puritan Medical Products, based in Guilford, Maine, in Copan, in northern Italy. Premier gets most of his supplies from the Italian company, and the spokesman says the military transport of a million testing swabs each week from Italy will be helpful, but even that number doesn't seem to match national disease progression models. What happens if you don't have enough swabs? Well, that's the question of the day. Um, we can either not test or we can switch to another sample type, and we're discussing switching to a throat swab. Dr. Call, like others in the profession, hope the supplies will show up before the swabs run out. Dorothy Tucker, CBS2 Investigators. And our thanks to Dorothy.